Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to attempt to do a plan with me in my budget planner. I haven't been in my budget planner since, I think Friday or Saturday last week. So I really need to spend some time in here. Look, I didn't even log, I didn't even log any of my spends for last week. So I'm gonna go through um, and set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to grab my bill pay checklist because here I like to write down when um, when the bill has been taken out of our account so that way for this week um, I'm gonna check my account and see how much I have to kind of go by so that's what I'm gonna do right now Let's flip the shoe this week if you're into budgeting not sure if you follow I'm following Dave Ramsey's principles and right now I'm on baby step number two which is getting out of debt and holy moly we have quite a long way to go but I'm hoping in a year we'll be done um, I'm not finding this one Let's go I know it's been paid for because it's on automatic payments, so I don't know why it could be because today's the 23rd, so that's probably why it's not out yet. Anyways, so that one's done. Cool, so take a look at my monthly and see what bills and I'm not even gonna bother putting like stickers down here like I normally do because I just want to go in and just write it down get my budget going for this week and see how much money we have left to budget certain things out um, that we need taken care of so for Monday is on auto pay for $39 and then I have a Navient it's one of my school loans that I've had since this is really sad you guys I've had this loan since 2003 one back when I first started college and it's still here with me. It used to be Sally Mae. No, it went from Citibank, I think, to Sally Mae, and then um, now to um, Navient. So I still have about $4,000 to pay off on that one. So I mean, I, it's kind of my fault. I ended up deferring the loan. So interest just piled up and I know it's my fault also speaking of loans um, as far as my school loans go I probably looking back I probably didn't need to take out all those loans I kind of just did because I was working part-time um, and I wanted you know the money to kind of have fun go out I was in college probably not the best choice um but it's my mistake and I am paying for it now so when my kids go to school they don't have to worry about all that school loans and hopefully teach them more about how to manage their money or better manage their money more than I did so um so that's about it for the bills this is actually one of the week where it's not full most of the time it's pretty full and then on I usually make myself some notes usually as the day goes by and I do know 
I need a budget for some things that need to get done for the car. Um, and it's something that I, I think I set this budget up the beginning of July and we still haven't, the money's there. Um, we haven't touched it or I still have enough to pay for like we need to get battery change the battery for the car and that's $200 and then the brakes which I believe my husband said got quoted for about it was under $150 for sure but I'm just going to put $150 just so we don't go over um, and what else do I have to budget for this sidebar here I like to use for um let me see if I can pull back my previous week. I like using it for um here like on this week I write down like the balance that I have, what bills um need to be taken out still, and then whatever's left I kind of go through and budget for groceries, gas and all of that. So what I'm going to do is, as of right now, we have we have eleven seventy one. I usually drop the cents. I just round it up or down. Um, and then the bills that still need to be taken out going to be discover school loan yes I know our cell phone bill is pretty stinking high we're working on getting that down um, my husband used to work for AT&T so we got a pretty good discount before so there's a couple things that we need to um, get rid of like we've had tablets on there um, that we're paying for I think like $15 per tablet like there's three of them and we don't take our those tablets out anymore so we just connect to our Wi-Fi so we've been paying you know for certain lines that we don't need anymore so we really need to get on that I'm trying to trim the fat where we can um, 7 12 is what we're gonna be left with and it is payday on Friday so most of the time my husband will get paid it's always at least 2500 um, and he gets paid bi-weekly and just in case you're wondering I'm a stay-at-home mom now I left my job in May so now we're living off of one income which kind of works out that my husband found this job because it pretty much replaced my my salary it's like double um, actually he's working overtime so that's why it's a little bit more. Um, so 3200 So we got pretty, pretty blessed on that part for him to land this job that he has now. Um, so, and then what I like to do also is take this amount and since we're getting paid this Friday, I take out any, I call them non-negotiable bills that need to be paid. So from now until our next payday, which is going to be 20, our next payday will be on the 10th of August, so the next two weeks. So I'm going to just calculate. How much we gotta cut out? So, so this is bills this week, and then so here we need to pay for um, who's this guy? We need to pay for rent and. Sorry, not exactly sure where my recordings had stopped, but I'm in the middle of budgeting here, so 
Um, so far I've taken out $100 for groceries, $60 for gas, and then I do need to take out, um, so $100 will go to my husband for two weeks, he has $50 a week, and then, and he usually uses that for his lunch money at work, because it's kind of hard to pack a lunch for him since he, um, he goes from job to job. And he's had a bad experience before bringing lunch to work. So some things work, some things don't. So we're going to hopefully in the future try to work on that. Um, and then I need to take out... I already bought my son's school supplies. We don't have to spend on that. I have to take out so the $200 for the battery. That's 370 left and then 150 for the brakes. Um I don't really do zero base budgeting like I see other people doing just because um I don't ever want to empty out my account. I don't know. I it just I have to leave something there because I've just had some things happen in the past where that's why I keep track of when that's why I use this to keep track of when certain things get taken out of the account because just because you pay for a bill especially on the weekend doesn't mean it's going to get taken out right away so sometimes when I go in or I text my you know my bank my balance doesn't necessarily reflect it so to me I just I just want to make sure that you know I'm protected and I, nothing gets overdraft so um, anyways, so I have $220 left to budget, and although we don't really eat out as much anymore, I like to still, um, keep in mind that we're setting aside something for eating out, or miscellaneous. So eat out and miscellaneous. So I have $120 left, and that I want to keep inside the account. And, um... That's pretty much it for that. So that's what I like to do in this budget planner. And usually, um, as the day goes by, if I need to write anything financially, I'll write it in my notes section. And then I'll write my spends and or what I spent for today. I like to keep track of that because, I don't know, it just helps me helps to recognize like my spending habits and patterns and how much I spent for groceries or whatnot and yeah so that's pretty much it for this planner that was pretty quick I like it because you know gets down to the pretty much gets down to what's important is what I have left to budget where can that money go and any little bit extra I'm probably with this 120 probably half of it it's gonna um, go to debt so that's pretty much it for this video I am towards the end of July I'm gonna go through and um, go through the whole month of July in my budget planner and kind of show you, you know, everything filled in, like with what I spent for the day and kind of just talk about my budgeting and how it's going. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you'd like, please subscribe. And I will see you next time.